Jinky, saan ba maganda mag-invest? Grabe, my friends. Ang dami na po nagtatanong sa akin. At the same time, legitimate ba itong investment na ito? Safe ba itong investment na ito? Kaya wag na po natin patagalin. Sasagutin ko na po ngayon sa araw na ito. Kung gusto nyo malaman, panoorin nyo ito. Videos that will make you wealthy and debt-free. Alam nyo ba na it has been my goal to really see every Filipinos to become an iponario. Gusto ko maging iponair ka para maging millionaire. However, it doesn't stop there. Maganda yung nag-start ka na mag-ipon ka. Pag nag-ipon ka lang, pero pag hindi mo naman pinalago ang iyong pera, liliit po ang halaga ng iyong pera. And I want to equip you to become wealthy and debt-free. Ang importante, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you save. It's not how much money you save, it's how much money you grow. Kailangan matuto tayong magpalago ng pera para tayo maging wealthy. So, when I say equip, I want also to show you some alternatives. In line with this, ang dami na po talaga nagtatanong po sa akin, lalo na sa aking TikTok channel. Ito yung mga comments. Sinabi, ma-recommend nyo ba itong beginners ang G-Invest ng Gcash? Si Edward De Los Santos. Thoughts po sa G-Invest na sa Gcash app? Okay, si Tata naman, sinabi, ask ko lang po, what can you say about G-Invest by Gcash? Do you think it's good for the first-time investor? Sa dami na po nagme-message, so finally, ito na po. I did some research at ito ng aking full review on how to unlock itong question na to about G-Invest and Gcash. So first, ano ba talaga yung Gcash? Alam naman natin, Gcash is the leading money delivery system na online, di ba? And then, ano naman itong G-Invest? G-Invest naman, pwede mo gamitin ang pera mo sa loob ng Gcash para mag-invest ka sa mga funds. Funds na in-offer nila to grow your money. Actually, ang G-Invest, it's a investment marketplace used by Gcash. Since marami kami nang gumagamit nito, they allow a Norman Juan de la Cruz to use their money to invest in investment fund and grow your wealth with just a press of a button. Ito lang masabi ko, kung sino naman nag-isip nito, super antalino. Kasi it's simple, it's convenient, di ba? Fast way to invest and grow your money. Naalala ko pa, bago ako mag-invest dati, mag-open ako ng account, tapos pupunta pa ako, pipirma pa ako, magpapa-appearance pa ako, and then i-authenticate pa. Ang daming proseso. Pero right now, button lang. Pwede na. Pero bago ka pa mag-invest, ito lang po. Ako lang po ay makikiusap. Dapat, bago po kayo mag-invest, bago po kayo mag-invest, dapat sagutin nyo mga questions na ito. Now, you should ask yourself these questions kung talagang interesado ka. Number one, question. Amount. How much are you willing to invest? Or how much is investable funds? Okay. So, yun yung unang question. Kasi maraming taong gustong mag-invest pero wala namang pondo. Even before you start, parang a business, no? Kailangan meron kang puhunan. Tama ko mali. So, number one, ask yourself, determine mo magkano ba? Is it 500, 5,000, 50,000, 500,000? So, number one, alamin mo magkano investable fund mo. Maraming nagsasabi yung mga investment ay pang mayayaman lang. Actually, Uh, dati yon dati yon Alam nyo ba, for as low as 50 pesos, 50 pesos, pwede ka na mag-invest sa kanilang local funds. Kung gusto mo namang mag-invest sa global funds nila, isang dibo. Again, ulitin ko ha, 50 pesos sa local, 1,000 global funds. Which means, talagang affordable talagang. Kayang-kaya, kahit nino. Kahit na yung nagbebenta ng balut. Surprisingly, right now, kahit sir, ikaw, tricycle driver ka, may 50 pesos ka na pwede mong palaguin. No? Ayun. Number two, bago ka mag-invest, alamin inyong timeline. How long are you going to invest? When you say timeline po, ask yourself, is it short term, long term, or medium term? Ang pag-usapan po natin, short term, mga 1 to 5, medium 6 to 20, long 21 and above. So, bago kayo mag-invest at maglagak ng pera, make sure, alamin mo. Pagka sinabi mong short term, 1 to 5 years, make sure 1 to 5 years. Okay? Pag sinabi mong long term, 21 and above, make sure 21 and above. Yan ang importante, kasi may mga iba kasi, ang nangyayari, since nag-invest lang, hindi alam, nung nakikita kitang nalugi, pinull out na. Tapos, nung tumaas na, tumaas ulit, ay silang hihinayang. Hindi. You do not invest with your feelings and emotions. You invest based on your program, on your plan. Diba? So, that's number two. Number three, ang importante, bago po tayo mag-invest, ask yourself, what type of investor are you? Are you conservative, moderate, and aggressive? Ang conservative po, ibig sabihin, mababa ang moderate gitna. Ang aggressive po, mataas. Chinky, ano yung pagkakaiba niyan? Kasi sa pagdating po sa investment, FYI lang po, the higher the interest or the return, the higher the risk. Kung aggressive 
ka, ibig sabihin mas mataas din ang chance na mababa at malugi ka. Kung gusto mo pumunta sa mga conservative, meron din po siya. So, nagigets nyo, alamin nyo rin sa sarili nyo, what type of an investor are you? Ako naman po, I always go for the conservative. Conservative talaga ako. As a matter of fact, everyday pag lumalabas ako ng bahay nung pre-COVID, tumatawag pa ako sa nanay ko, nagpapaalam pa ako. Ganun ako ka-conservative. <laughs> So, ang next question naman, what types of funds pwede mong invest sa G-Invest? Again, pinag-aralan ko, there are five types of fund na pwede mong tingnan. Number one is the money market fund. Kung conservative ka, ito po yung tinatawag nilang low risk. Oo. Pag kayo naman po ay moderate, moderate, gitna, pwede kang pumunta sa Philippine Total Return Bond Fund. Ito naman po ay nag invest naman po sa mga bond ng mga local companies and government. Alam nyo ba yung mga gobyerno minsan nagungutang ng pera at nagbebenta sila ng bond? Safe din po siya. Kasi po hindi po pwede magsara ang gobyerno. Pagdating naman sa aggressive po, meron po silang tatlong fund na pinag-aralan ko. Tinatawag na Global Technology Feeder Fund. Ito po ang nag invest pa sa mga tech companies. Companies. International na ito. Imagine mo, Apple, Samsung, Google. Woo! Pwede ka na mag-invest kahit na local. Meron ding Global Consumer Trends Feeder Fund. Ito naman po ay nag-invest naman sa mga consumer. Consumer companies like Amazon, Alibaba, Shopee. ba? Diba? And then, isa pa, yung tinatawag na Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund. Ito naman po, nag invest naman sila sa local economy through the stock market. Ang tawag po naman yan ay PSE, Philippine Stocks Exchange Index. Index. So, ito naman po, depende sa index at performance ng stock market. Doon mo makikita kung kikita ka o hindi. So, pipili po kayo doon, di ba? Kung anong klase kang investor. In my case, again, conservative ako. So, anong pipiliin ko? Definitely, yung money market fund. Now, the next question is this, Chinky. Safe ba yan? Again, I checked it out. I checked G-Invest right now is powered by Seedbox. Sino ba tong Seedbox na ito? Si Seedbox is the first fully digitized market investment and then it na launch to ng 2016 and is backed by leading financial companies and then sino naman managmamanage ng pera ng G Invest ang nagmamanage naman po si Atram o or Atram actually was awarded as the Asian Investor Fund in the year 2015 2016 and 2020 yung asset ng mga top investment house like for example in 2020 yung CFA Society they are considered the Philippines best managed fund in 2020 as a matter of fact alam mo gaano kalaki na po ang kanila assets na minamanage 130 billion pesos grabe so in other words ina-assure ng GCash and G-Invest na nagmamanage na kanilang pera ay mga professionals So, ang next question naman is this. Para sa mga taong interesado, ano naman ang qualification? Before I tell you the qualification, huwag kayong aalis ha. Bakit? On the last part of this video, I would like to give you my personal and my final thoughts about G-Invest. Okay, let's watch this. How to get started with G-Invest? If you're at least 18 years old, all you need is one valid ID to fully verify your GCash account. Then you can start preparing for your future. Look for the G-Invest icon on your GCash app. To sign up, all you need is a verified GCash account with a valid email address. As soon as your registration is confirmed, you're good to go. So guys, there you have it. That's how you become a member. Paano kayo magre-register sa G-Invest? My final thoughts about G-Invest. Personal ko, number one, it's genius. Bakit po? Again, kasi nandun na yung pera. Hindi na kailangan ilabas ang pera. And then number two, it's so simple and so easy. Talagang, kasi app lang eh. Diba? Ang gagawin mo lang, oh, sige, how much do you want to invest? Tatap mo lang. Pagkatapos, nandun na yung pera mo. Na Naka-invest ka na. And then, ang pinaka-best para sa akin is affordable. Grabe. Hindi ko ang alam eh. Paano ginawa eh? 50 pesos. <laughs> Di ba? Para ka lang bumili ng burger steak. And then, isa pang pagmaganda, alam mo kagandaan, lalo na para sa mga millennials no, na busy, it's automated. As a matter of fact, pwede ka pala mag-set ng mga reminder regularly. Kasi alam mo, ang maganda sa investment, yung talagang consistent ka. Kung gusto mo, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, ma-remind ka para kailan ka mag invest And then, anong isa pang pagmaganda, hindi mo na kailangan pumila para malaman mo kung anong balance mo, kung magkano na yung performance ng fund mo. Kasi transparent 
na you can track your orders, makikita mo pa yung transaction history, mamomonitor mo pa yung investment mo. Well, ang sasabihin ko lang, no? I'm really very impressed. I'm very impressed with what Gcash has done through G-Invest na ginawa nila. And then with this feature, kasi I believe na it offers yung parang alternative for Filipinos on how to invest and grow their money. Kahit sino ka man, maging sino ka man. Di ba? <laughs> Grabe talaga. So, my friends, kung kayo ay na-educate naman with regards to this, no, please mag-comment naman kayo. Mag-comment kayo. Ano yung nagustuhan mo sa pinag-usapan natin? At kung may mga further questions pa kayo, I would suggest, no, uh, dumiretso na lang kayo sa kanila. I'm not part of G-Invest or I'm not part of Gcash. I just made a review dahil sa marami pong nagtatanong. Okay? So, mga friendship para sa mga nagtatanong, sana naman na-enlighten kayo sa episode na ito. Okay? As I always say, to every problem, there's always a solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Always change positive. Thank you for watching. If you want to keep on growing and to stay inspired, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified. Always change positive.